Before we get started, I want you all to hit the red subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of our videos. Hey, hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to our channel. What are the qualities that attract players to the open world genre and the GTA games? There's no doubt that GTA is the most lucrative project that Rockstar Studios has, so it was only natural that they would launch a new installment in the series. The reason behind GTA's success, and possibly the biggest attraction, is the map itself. Maps have become increasingly large over the years in GTA games, and GTA 6 looks pretty promising too. But what makes it something to be hyped about? All of the American states. With every new installment that the developers introduce into the franchise, the scale of the map seems to get bigger and bigger every time. Continuing with this tradition, it's no surprise that the developers want to go even bigger for GTA 6. There are credible sources that have informed the idea that GTA 6 is going to feature a map that encompasses all 52 of the North American states, rather than just focusing on one single city. And if the game was set across all 52 states, teleportation could become handy. So you could whiz across state lines, rather than zipping between time periods. It sounds quite plausible that the scale of the game will increase, perhaps with known locations like Los Santos, Liberty City, and Vice City, or to encompass more states or global cities. However, the teleportation thing doesn't seem like it's gonna happen because of the impractical graphics that it will take. It's more likely that the player would fast travel by plane, like at the end of GTA San Andreas in the St. Mark's Bistro mission, or by swapping between characters as in GTA 5, a convenient way to shortcut the player between locations without compromising on the realistic experience that earned GTA its name. Introducing New Cities According to a source speaking to Tech Radar back in March of 2016, Rockstar visited the Japanese capital as a reference trip for a game entitled GTA Tokyo several years ago. The source stated that Rockstar was serious about a game with a Japanese setting and even went as far as to trademark the game GTA Tokyo and GTA Pagoda. The idea of a separate series was not implemented, but there is a fair chance that GTA 6 will also have global cities like Tokyo or Berlin. Maybe GTA will finally take into account the number of fans that play the game from all over the world and not just America. Logistically speaking, if GTA was to move away from the US, it would be a big deal for the series and not just because Rockstar has a set of number of series staples like brands and restaurants and fake car manufacturers that would all have to be redesigned for the Far Eastern setting. There's no denying that it would be brilliant though and have more global representation. A virtual reality experience. According to rumors circulating in online forums and fandoms, some of the players have been citing sources that GTA 6 will arrive with full support for virtual reality. No, that's not just a few missions to play in VR, but rather the entire game. Could it happen? Virtual reality hasn't quite taken off in the way that everyone expected it, and it feels like a huge financial risk for Rockstar Studios to take, not to mention the technical challenges that virtual reality may bring. In August of 2017, Take-Two CEO Strauss Zelnick expressed skepticism around VR, claiming AR was a much more viable alternative in the long term. The concerns I raise regarding VR are not applicable to AR, Zelnick said. In order to have an AR experience, you don't necessarily have to wear glasses or a headset. However, it's hard not to see LA nor as a form of a test case, as we openly wondered what it might mean for GTA when we previewed Rockstar's Crime Noir in 2017. Best case, GTA 6 might follow the same line as the VR version of LA Noir, which offers players 7 of the game's missions rebuilt specifically for VR. However, ignoring VR entirely or opting for AR sounds like a more viable option since it seems impractical to aim for such a limited user base. Modeling the map. GTA maps have always been extremely realistic, which is their biggest selling point. The GTA 6 map will be no different, except it will be carrying a lot more details. A recent conversation with the developers revealed their process. We do a lot of Googling and street view scoping, Leslie, one of the developers stated. After that, six to eight people work on the design for around nine months to a year. The city is like a sculpture and make sure that the perspectives are down to the streets look right. Although if GTA 6 is trying to replicate all 52 US states or even a series of cities and regions of comparable size to Los Santos, 
That sounds like a lot of preparation work, provided Rockstar are working in the same way. GTA 6 is a highly anticipated release, so there are numerous rumors floating around. What can be confirmed, however, is that GTA 6 will probably release with a bang and is expected to earn a lot of money for Rockstar Studios. We sincerely hope that the size of the map doesn't compromise with the graphics, and this map is also filled with pop culture references like the previous games. This brings us to the end of the video, and we hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos on your screen right now, because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.